Tanker trouble on I-75 in Troy. An accident leaving a line of fuel burning along the side of the freeway and the truck engulfed in flames. Topping our news tonight at 6, people not only saw the burning tanker, some heard the explosions, others could feel the heat, they said, as they drove by. Yeah, seemingly everyone near the scene had their cameras out trying to capture video or pictures. Just look at that, the plume of black smoke extending high into the sky. Fire was near Big Beaver, and as a result, the freeway southbound lanes are closed at Square Lake Road. The northbound lanes closed at Rochester Road. Let's go live to Sean Lay, uh, right near the site where this happened for the latest. Sean. Devin, here is the latest from Troy Police. The driver, 46 years old from St. Clair. Take a look behind me. That is what's left of his tanker truck. It was packed with 14,000 gallons of fuel when police say he hit the wall, causing the fire. We're told the driver's going to be okay, but putting out the fire, just step one. And what is going to be a lengthy process to get this highway back open. Oh my gosh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Incredible cell phone video as a local four viewer showed us and told us what it felt like to drive right by this tanker fire. A ball of fire and massive plume of smoke that could be seen for miles. Angela Busolato watched this all unfold from her apartment. And I look outside the window and it's just black smoke all over. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Troy Fire putting water and foam on the fire, but they needed more foam. Just after three, another foam truck arriving all the way from Holly. And that is what finally put this inferno out. We asked Troy Fire, why bring in a foam truck from 30 miles away? It's an Oakland County resource. So we have uh, several Oakland County hazmat trucks located right here in Troy, and they're on the scene very quickly. And then again, just to help disperse the uh, resources. Um, that is stored in Holly. MDOT putting the finishing touches on this part of the new I-75 this year. Watching fuel burn so hot for so long, the damage to 75 could be massive. Conceivably, we could have to replace the pavement. There's just no doubt about it. A fire that hot is just going to really render that pavement brittle. Um, it won't stand up as long as we want. Back here live. Here we are at six o'clock, huddling up here on I-75 northbound, closed right there. You got firefighters, MDOT, talking about what is going to happen next. That will be removing the tanker, but it is still hot right now. So this is going to be a lengthy process, guys. Also, we were standing right here. You could feel the heat, but see the smoke, not really smell it. So no, just because the way the wind was blowing, there was no mandatory evacuations here. One office did evacuate just in case there was uh, more fire or toxic fumes, but you can see what a mess and they've got to get the uh, tanker off the pavement to see the damage done underneath. Back to you. It really is a mess indeed. Okay, Sean, thank you.